Now, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, you should receive uh, the file right on the on the Google Classroom this time. So you, you better download it again. I don't know whether or not I have given you the correct uh, versions and or most updated version of my minutes. So uh, because I have just uh, modified the notes a little bit. So I know the three have, have got the uh, updated file, but uh, I don't know whether or not you have got the uh, this type of file. Please double check. If you have to ask, uh, you have such. Now the file we've got that are very uh, similar, but uh, I have add some more different things in terms of, for example, a diagram, and uh, this table uh, would best give you something more about uh, the the details, right? To compare the boiling points. Have you got that? Have you got that? Now just wait until your classmates just enter the classroom and we'll start it right now. So 37. Um, Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. Where is number twenty? Number twenty. Uh, let me check his name. Lam Hiu Feng. Lam Hiu Feng. Not here. Lam Hiu Feng. Oh, yeah. Okay, all of you are here. Now, have you got the uh, file? Have you got the file? Now take a look, a little bit different from last time. So uh, what I mean is this one. Do you find it? Yeah? So, uh, Now, uh, this is the, or uh, just record your memory about uh, last time we stopped at uh, trying to separate uh, some uh, hydrocarbons, okay, from a mixture of it. So this is crude oil. Crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbons of different size. Okay, so some of them, they are very small and they have the low boiling point while the one which is very large as large as even 50 to 70 carbon and the boiling point is very very high so if i burn it uh it directly for the use it is just a waste of energy resources uh, no need to mention it it also gives uh, some air pollution as well so we would try to better use the that resources by doing some refined reprocess. So we call that uh, fractional distillation of crude oil, which aims to separate the hydrocarbon mixture in with a smaller difference in the boiling point. So underline the term smaller difference in boiling point. So that's why we will see this one as a boiling, uh, we will see that the fractions. So fractions, fractions. 
so uh, we would uh, have uh, I just introduced one of them uh, in which we currently do it in the lab in the school lab so we would have this setup with uh, the mineral rule soaked with crude oil remember mineral rule is not the, the, the lamb's rule okay mineral rule is just glass fiber uh, which can withstand high temperature and I soak it with crude oil and heat it and I boil it uh, gradually from low temperature to high temperature from low to high temperature. So uh, those different hydrocarbons, they would boil at their own boiling point. The smaller boil, um, so smaller hydrocarbon will boil off first because its boiling point is lower and followed by the one which is higher. So uh, that thermometer, the pop here, they will measure the boiling point range. So remember, boiling point range, it will not give you a sharp boiling point. So uh, what is the heat and, and try to collect it uh, as a fraction, we say a fraction, okay? And, uh, and we are going to uh, separate into different fractions. So we have got point for range. So which means that even we have got uh, separate into four parts. Okay, all those there are still a mixture of hydrocarbons, but uh, their boiling point range will become narrow now. Okay, such that we can uh, use it. Okay, more easily. Can you get my point? we can use it more easily. So remember that this time the fractional distillation of crude oil cannot separate into pure substance. They are going to separate into several pot fractions only with a smaller boiling point range. So you have got the following uh, uh, properties to be um, compared. So for example, color, volatility, viscosity, flammability and the color of the sootiness of flame when burnt. So you may heard of some, it is a new term, sootiness of flame, which means uh, the amount of black smoke to be formed. We call that sootiness. So if you want to mention the fire, uh, which is a uh, orange fire most of the time, together with some black smoke, Okay, together with some black smoke that come out, we would call that type of fire a sooty flame. A sooty flame. Okay, you may know that some uh some of the cases are where the fire will be burned, there may be some black smoke that comes out, right? So and um, but not for the household field nowadays. Okay, why? Okay, you can make a guess. Why would uh current or okay, why would a current household field uh, would not burn with a sooty flame. Do you know? What fuel are we using in town gas and in LPG? What is the chemical component inside? Now you search it on the web now and uh, just let me know. I repeat, our household fuel nowadays is this LPG and, or uh, town gas. What is the chemical component found inside? And it will give you some idea, right? On how come our fire is not yellow, it's not sooty, is that it's blue. Okay, I give you about, uh, you have got the uh, answer. Uh, if you got the answer, you may type it on your chat box. My question is, oh, okay, my question is why? To our household, uh, household fuel or burn with a blue flame instead of a yellow flame. Sometimes we call it sooty flame. Sometimes sooty. Can you get the point? Please search the web. Now I give you some hint, LPG and town gas. Just check for me. The uh, chemical component inside.
Do you know? Now, how would you search it on the web? Do you know? Search it on the web and type uh, the chemicals, chemical component in uh, the town gas and LPG, and you may get the answer. But first of all, what, what will we get to be answered? Say why git. I'm on here. Uh you'll find it. I'm still searching. Yeah, let's see. Town gas CO2 CO it is nitro hydrogen X2. X2, not X. Hydrogen and nitrogen, oxygen, methane. Okay, methane. What is the chemical formula of methane? I pick up this one next example methane, DH4. Okay, so can you make a guess? So once I burn, because of the molecular size of it is very small. Okay, molecular size of it is very small. So it will burn it with a blue flame instead, okay? Which means that they can undergo a complete burning. All of you, please mark it down, complete burning. So uh, if you burnt hydrogen, carbon monoxide, methane, they will burn it to form carbon dioxide and water you know that it is a type of a burning or combustor reaction. We call it combustor. Now it is a more scientific term or burning. It is a complete one. Okay. However, while you are having a larger size of the hydrocarbon or a larger size of the fuel, we will have a higher chance of getting a yellow flame, orange flame with more black smoke. Can you get the point? And similarly for LPG, LPG, what is the gas? It is from C1 to C4. So what does it mean by C1 to C4? Uh, with one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, and four carbon. Well, the chemical formula is of this, methane, ethane, propane, and butane. So what are the in common? Is that they have a smaller hydrocarbon size and they would burn it less uh, with a less sooty flame okay with a, with a blue flame again can you get a point so that's why we have got a uh compare uh, we have got this as an example and let you know indeed we are having a lower boiling point range i have a fraction of distillation fractions is that clear so we have got the following uh, uh, conclusion. For the higher boiling point range product, uh, indeed, what is the hidden message? They are of a higher or the larger uh, size of hydrocarbon. Okay, they have a larger size of hydrocarbon. Normally, they have a darker color. They are more viscous, more sticky, and uh, less volatile less volatile which means uh, it will evaporate less readily less flammable and produce more black smoke than burn which means that they will it, the flame it is more sooty can you get the point the flame is more sooty is it clear okay Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So uh, this is what I would like to remind all of you here. Now, uh, we would, uh, how, uh, how about while you do it industrially? 
industrially. So it will have got uh, we've got more uh, something more in detail, but not having this right. This sample uh, this setup is too simple. I will try to make it more sophisticated, such that we can separate into large uh, in more number of fractions. Now this time we just have four fractions only, but in industrial sense we have got more than four. Okay, we have got more than four fractions. So I would like to, yeah, this one. I would like to show you a video now. Petroleum, crude oil, is a poor fuel as it burns with a very sooty flame. Can you listen to it? In oil refining, the mixture of hydrocarbons is separated by fractional distillation into less complex mixtures which are useful. Now, in, in the, uh, indeed, uh, the crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbon. So you may see this, okay, for example, this one, what is that? It is methane, CH4. Well, we've got one, two, three, three carbon. The black one is carbon, right? So we've got a C3H8, okay? Well, for this one, is the longer or the larger size of the C, uh, hydrocarbon. So they, uh, they have got a mixture of it, okay? Do you understand? They have got a mixture of it. So the fractional distillation, Just, they which are useful. To separated into different parts like this. It seems like ranking. Now, it seems like ranking uh, according to uh, uh, according to the different size, okay? The smaller uh, size, they will come out first and then uh, followed by the larger one, larger one, larger one. For the largest one, they are stayed, all right? They are stayed into the uh, fraction five. Can you get a point? Now, so which means that if you want to have a fraction of it, we still have a mixture of C, X, H, Y, but this time of similar size. All of you, please mark it down. Similar size, but not pure substance. It is not pure. It is still, so we call that a more narrow boiling point range. Okay? when you compare it with uh, crude oil itself. Okay, is that clear? So you copy it down first. In an oil refinery, petroleum is first heated in a furnace to about 400 degrees Celsius. The hot oil, now partly liquid and partly vapour, is pumped into the bottom of the fractionating tower. The liquid part, that is the residue, falls to the bottom. The vapour part rises up the tower. As the vapours rise up the tower, they cool and condense to liquid. There are bubble caps in each level of the tower. They make the separation of fractions more effective. Heavier and higher boiling fractions condense at lower, hotter levels. Lighter and lower boiling fractions condense at higher, cooler levels. Hydrocarbons with the lowest boiling points rise to the top of the tower and come out as gases. So uh, can you get the whole thing, right? 
so you have got uh, the fractions fractional distillation uh, we've, well, we've got a tower we've got a fractionating tower and inside that you may see that uh, we are going to uh, do such action right to separate the hydrocarbons of different sizes into different uh, fractions so indeed uh this the fractioning tower is not just one tower inside that we've got so many chambers okay we've got the rooms while the different rooms are already in in different is the temperature okay the lower temperature at the on top while the higher temperature at the bottom okay the lower temperature on top the higher temperature at the bottom. So, and uh, what uh, what is happening is that we are going to separate it uh, into different fractions according to the difference in what? Do you know? Uh, fractional distillation. The difference in what different hydrocarbons of different sizes though they have what physical property is is different do you know yes What is that? What is that term? I don't want to know. Anyone want to know? What is that num What is that term? molecular size somebody will say that yeah they are of different molecular size but how would you separate it how would you separate according to different size so you're going to do action so what is the whole principle of fractional distillation i hit it okay to boil and then cool it so which means that we've got the liquid turn to gas, and then turn back to liquid. So you are going to cool it, we call it condense. So different size, uh, different hydrocarbons of different size, they have different boiling points. So they would uh, condense it into different chambers. Can you get a point? Okay. So second, we have got different size. Yes, that's right. We would uh, uh, continue to follow up on this point. Uh, which one is has a smaller size? Which one has a smaller size? Which one has a larger size of hydrocarbon that can be found? It is chamber. On top, it is smaller hydrocarbon or larger hydrocarbon. On the bottom, it is smaller hydrocarbon or larger hydrocarbon. The top is smaller. Yep, top is smaller. So you may have got this. So the bottom one is larger. Okay, so you it seems like this. Okay, so we've got longer chain, longer chain, longer chain, longer chain, longer chain. And then later on, it become much, much longer at the bottom. Can you get a point? Now, if you want to, uh, you better cap uh, capture this one for further use. Right? It is very important. You may capture the screen now. Do it now. 
So can you get a point? Now, so if you are finished all those, you may uh, go to this. So what is that? Uh, in the oil industry, the crude oil collector from an oil rig, Jun Yao, uh, uh, is transported by a oil tanker or through the pipelines or to a what oil refining. So what is that? We call that oil refinery. Lin Yao Chong, oil refinery. The fractional distillation of crude oil is carried out in a large scale in the top. Uh, is a large tall steel tower. We call that fractionating towers. So this is the place where the separation of hydrocarbons would occur, like this. Okay. So uh, I would like to share with you what will happen again by having this. First of all, a mixture of hydrocarbons. They are heated under furnace about four hundred degrees. So. Uh, what will happen to it? Part of them having a low boiling point than uh, the lower boiling point than 400 degrees. What will happen? And how about the, the crude oil of fraction larger than 400 degrees? What will happen to, to those crude oil? Okay. Some of them will boil, right? Some of them will not. Which one will boil? This one, okay? They will boil to gas. While this one, larger than 400 degrees boiling point, uh, they will stay as liquid. Can you get my point? Boiling point of different hydrocarbons. If it's more than 400, they will boil to gas. If it's larger than 400 degrees, they will stay liquid. Why? 400 degrees, it is a type of heat, right? Heat is not enough to what? To overcome the force between the particles, okay? They will have a larger uh, force. We call that intermolecular force. So a very special term uh, that you may have that. What is mean by intermolecular force? It is a type of attraction in between molecules. This time is in between hydrocarbon molecules. While uh, for the smaller uh, hydrocarbons, they have a weaker intermolecular force. So which means that they will have less heat to overcome the, the force uh, between them. So they can move, uh, they will lose less energy to to separate it and they can move more freely. Can you get a point? So we have got that too. And uh, and indeed, the more sophisticated uh, with the one which stays as liquid, we try to separate into different parts. Okay, the flows in the bottom of the tower. How about on top? We try to have a very a clever design by what? By separating into different chambers. It seems in like different rooms. Okay, like this. So you may see that we have got one, two, three, four, and five pipelines on, on the top, but it is more than five. Okay, it's just a simplified version. Now in the different chambers, they are controlled at different temperature. The hotter part at the bottom, while the cooler part on top. Okay, and we try to make use of that, that type of thinking, thinking model. Okay, to, to and you get to know that well, the uh the ones will, will condense at a higher temperature, they will flow it like this. But that place is too hot for smaller particles, just like this. Okay, it's too hot for them. So they will go as a vapor, go as a vapor. Can you get a point? Go as a vapor, goes as a gas, and goes as a gas, and until the temperature of it is it become cooler. So cool that they start to condense and to throw it like this. But for the larger hydrocarbon, what will happen? If the larger carbon hydrocarbon of, uh, for example, of this size, what will happen? What will happen? Well, in these places, it's too hot. It's too hot. In this place, it's too hot. So they will go here as a gas. It's too hot, it goes to the gas. It's too hot, it goes to the gas. Okay, can you get a point? 
go too hot, it goes again until here. It's, it's cold enough to turn back to liquid. So they will go back here. And you get the whole flow. Okay, you get the whole logic, okay? So that's why we have got different hydrocarbons uh, with their own size, with their similar boiling point range, they will condense uh, at a certain area. As said before, the smaller one having a lower boiling point range, they will condense at a higher cooler level. While the, that those with a larger molecules have a higher boiling point range, they will condense at a lower, hotter level. Do you understand? Now, for those who understand what I've just said, uh, please put a tag on your, uh, uh, just next to your name, right? You have got tag cross function, right? You know it, you understand what I've just said, please put a tag. If not a cross, do it now. Yep, one, just one of them. Uh, Yong Seng Yin has done a very good job, very responsive. Uh, yep, 18, 19, 17, good job. Uh, yep, number one, number two, yep, thank you. Number six, how about the others? If you understand what I've just said, please put the tick, if not across, please. Now you may check your name list, right? You may see somebody who have just put a tick already. How about the others? Please do it now. I'll wait for you. How about number three? Number three, number four, uh, number five, Clement Chan, number seven, Chan Bo, Chan. Do you understand what I've just said? Ambrose, Zhang Huilan, Zhang Dutlan. Hong Xiuwan, Hong Xiuwan. Where you, you know you know where? Lam Hiu Fong, uh, Liang Pa Kian, Li Man Yin, Ma Zi Hin, Ma Gong Sang, Wu Ga Wang, Ji Man Pun, Shen Zi Hin, Shi Hua Ge, Wang Zheng Tao, Wu Che Fei, and thirty six, Zhang Yi Guang, twenty two, Lam Ma Hin, thirty five, Yong Sheng Yin, you know. Now, okay. So uh, it seems that most of you have got it, uh, have understood what is happening. So we move on uh, with the next page. So in the oil industry, the crude oil, they separate into different fractions in fractionating towers. So the table below shows you the different fractions and the new main use. So uh, we, it is something more, uh, a little bit different from the book and from the test book. So you better copy it down for those. Now, now you may search it on the web and check it one by one. And you get to know more about that. Now, what is that? For the first one. In the oil refinery, yep, LPG, very good, LPG. So what is that in uh, Chinese? LPG, with the long name, liquidified petroleum gas. Uh, so this one is different from a what you know in town gas. Town gas 
it is here, right? So it is a raw materials, okay? In that town gas, it is a measure of many hydrogen, carbon, methane. So we do, we need to do some more actions to, you know, to get the so-called raw materials. But for LBG, it's easily done by a fraction of the slash of crude oil and we can get this. It is used as a domestic fuel. And in Hong Kong, it is also uh, as a fuel for the taxi and public light buses. In the past, in the past, taxi minibus will not use when uh, did not use LPG as a fuel. In the past, what fuel were used? I uh, just asked you something about history. Did any anyone know? Okay, in the past, what fuel were used for running taxi and minibus? It's more than 20 or 30 years ago. It's something about history. You know what? You may search, you know what? Yeah, very good. Diesel, not gasoline, sorry. It's not gasoline. Gasoline is, uh, is not used. It's diesel. Why would you use diesel, not, uh, not pack gasoline? Now, gasoline, what is that? Gasoline is here. Gasoline, or you use the word petrol. Hey yo, to tell. Hey yo. So it is for motor cars, but diesel oil is not here. Diesel oil, it was once used together with the lorries and buses. So we call that diesel oil. Diesel oil is tired. Why would you the public transport in the past use diesel oil instead of gasoline? It is something related to money. Okay, it's related something to money. So diesel oil is the cheaper one. Now, once later, late, uh, next time while you walk past the oil station, the petrol station, try to see there are three. Uh, prices listed, right, are uh, just outside the oil station. The one which is the cheapest one, it is diesel oil. Okay, you know it. One, well, we have got two types of petrol. One is leather petrol, the other one is unleather petrol. Do you know it? Leather, leather petrol or unleather petrol. But nowadays, in the past, it is it is unlettered, right? But now it is now banned. We've got the unlettered petrol of low quality or one with high quality. So we have got that too. Okay, this is what you know in the past. So we have got three prices. Can okay, you get a point? The one with high quality unlettered petrol, the lower quality unlettered petrol. Uh, the third one is diesel oil. We still have diesel oil. Okay, so uh, can we uh, buy the cheaper oil and put it into private car? Do you know it? Have you ever fall, fall off? You think it is a matter of price, if a matter of budget. Uh, can I drive a private car due to the petrol station and then wave the hand and ask the people for help? Can I pump in the diesel oil? The answer is no. Okay, why? Why not? Because the engine is different. The engine is different, so the the temperature uh, of burn uh, it needed to burn the the petrol and diesel oil is different. This one is of higher temperature to burn it, while for this one I need lower temperature to burn it. Which means that for diesel oil I put it into the uh, motor cars. Sorry, the, those diesel oil cannot be burned. Can you get a point? So this is what I would like to remind you. Now, uh, while uh, while you become uh, be while you becoming an adult, somebody want to uh, buy the cars for use. Uh, be be aware of the cars, right? You are going to use the petrol driven car or diesel oil driven car. Now, do you know that the, our principal? Okay, our principal uh, they use the car with, which we we need diesel oil to run. I do think it's something related to budgetary, right? 
you know that oil price is quite high. So he wants to save money. So he buy. I don't know. I don't know. That may be one of the reasons because he he once talked to me something more about the 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 use of oil which is cheaper. I don't know. So uh, you may find diesel oil here, and different. So how about in between? Now we have got another one. We have got uh we'd like to share with you is of Nafla. N A P H T H A said Lo Yao, and indeed circle this. If if you want to get to know more about the uh raw materials for making so many petrochemical products, Fa Gong Chan Ban. So this is the starting point. This is starting point, which means it is just the first step of getting the raw materials. So for example, we make town gas, plastics, other. Uh, chemicals I would use Nefla are very important chemicals in petrochemical industry. Okay, so we come to the next one. We have got a uh, the jet fuel and uses is used a solvent. What is that in English? We call it kerosene for soil. And it was once it was once. Our uh, our household field in the past, okay. How do how do I know? So have you uh, searched on the web kerosene stove? Now, and have you ever seen that? Now, some people who love to go to camping, right? They you may uh you may have got uh different fields now. If you go to camping, uh, if you use, uh, somebody will use butane, butane thingyun, which means that four carbon. If you use this one, it is the same as the lighter fuel. Do you know what's mean by lighter fuel? 打火机入边嗰啲油啊. So and also that fuel, it is very similar to uh the one. You use it for a fire hot pot. Now you know that nowadays we seldom use hot pot underneath uh, where for the real fire, right? In the past, we have got one type of fire. We go to Dai Pai Dong, like they will give you a, a, a some hot pot with a real stove with real fire inside. Uh, uh, we have got a bottle, a very uh, 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 a cylinder of gas, so it is built in. Now, if you use um kerosene for so you may also uh, put it into the stove in camping, and it was once uh it was once the gas stove like this. Now this one, it is similar to what uh, what we have in the past. While I was a small kid, I I stayed in grandma and grandpa's home. I have seen that before. Okay. And uh, what are they? Uh, what are they so special to me? Why do I still have a great memory of it? Because it's smelly. Once they pump those uh, kerosene inside that, you know that it is of the larger size of hydrocarbons, so it is not easily burned. So which means that before it burned, they would just heat it and turn to gas without without burning. So we will smell it. We smell it, a very smelly liquid. Okay, do you understand? Now, is somewhat something what you know about uh, uh, chemistry? Okay, in our daily life. Now, so and now nowadays the kerosene is no longer used as household fuel. Instead, is used is used as solvent. Uh, is used as the fuels for the aeroplane. It's used for as a solvent for so yeah. What solvent? What is that solvent? For example, it can dilute the paint, coat the uh, 油, 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 or you can remove some oil stain. 一些好像油,油那些漬,你想漬了去。And somebody may have had an experience having some sticky tech uh, touch uh, that, that, uh, that were stuck onto the bottle for long. You want to remove it. And you may find some glue part is uh, cannot be removed so easily. So what should we do? Now somebody will use hot water uh, to to cover it and then wipe it. Yes, you can, but the efficiency is not so uh, so high. 
uh, you may use alcohol or rubbing alcohol, the one you use a hand sanitizer to rub it against it and to, the glue part will be removed. You may also use um, a kerosene. Kerosene is a, is, a, is a speedy method, but it's rather smelling and it will hurt your hands. Or you remember to wear gloves while you do this. Now we have got diesel oil. Diesel oil can, is a fuel for heavy vehicles and such as lorry buses or even in, uh, in the factories you use diesel oil. Why will you use it? Because it's cheap. And also it will give you a uh, large amount of energy when you use it per kilogram, okay? While you compare with LPG. So we'll use the larger fuel. How about the other three? The fuels for ships, the larger vehicles, right? Generation electricity power plants, we will use it as a fuel oil. F-U-E-L-O-I-L, yin liu yao. So even bigger, so even cheaper. And uh, uh, for the other two, which in which it is nearly a liquid up to solid, uh, we will use it uh, as a lubricating oil and candles and covering rolls because they can hardly burn. They can be hardly burnt. So you use it for some other use. Lubricating oil, your model. And waxes. But wait a minute, waxes. You say that Mr. Chin is hardly burnt. So how can we make wax burn? You need sub, you need one important item inside. What is that? Once you see the candle, we have got some cotton wick here. Cotton wick being some. So the cotton wick will, uh, will give you a fire here. While the, the, the surrounding region of the wax will melt, they will suck up and through this, uh, the cotton wick and will burn it. Try to imagine with the cotton wick without the molten wax, the cotton wick uh, will be easily burnt, burnt out, okay? But for cotton wick, uh, with some oil in, in here, they will, uh, uh, the oil we drive will, will go through up and they will burn. Part of them is just a few. Or you go to the Chinese temple, uh, you may see uh, an oil lamp right, with the wick here, oil lamp. Have you ever, can you get my point? Oil lamp, yeah, So uh, the oil is, uh, it is of a very large size of oil, while uh, it cannot be burned so easily. So we'll call the cotton wick for help. But of course, uh, remember the oil here is not from crude oil. What is that oil? While people, they will have a uh, servings to God, they would give uh, cooking oil instead, right? You know it? But you know that cooking oil cannot be burned so easy unless I put it into high temperature. So I need a cotton wick for help, right? To, to make it burn. Finally, how about this? Material for covering row. It is what we call it as bitumen. Lap tan, leg tank. All of you please mark it down. Leg tank. So the word uh the uh so it is the black fairy uh sticky liquid. Okay, it is used as a surfacing roll and also put it into the roof. It is a roof. Why? Because it is waterproof. Waterproof and then heat proof. Okay, so we will put into the surfacing roll. You know that it would absorb sound. So that's why if you find the roll the, uh, the, the, in which they have got a heavy traffic. Uh, you may see the, the, the row for the cars to move it. We have got two, two color, right? One is black, one is gray. Now for the heavy traffic, most of the time you will see it as a black one, black service. Why? Because it help absorb sound. You know that? The environmental protection department, they will measure the, the, the noise level and they will decide whether or not it is a, uh, they will use it as a, a black road, black service road and a gray service road. What for gray service uh, is seem, uh, is, uh, is as simple as concrete. Okay, with it simple as concrete with the array of iron 
framework con uh, reinforced concrete and this should cover the road. Do you know it? Any questions so far? So you need to know um, those uh, uses of that items. Now, in short, on the fractions from the fractional distillation of crude oil, they, you may find that they are in three main uses. One of them, they, uh, they comprises uh, most of the composition, which is as fuels. They are, would use it as fuels. I burn it for direct use, either for cooking or for transport. It uses it as a fuel. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, if, if for from small to large hydrocarbons, we will use it as a fuel. Second, uh, the one uh, which have a higher boiling point range, So those hydrocarbons, somebody will think that they are not will do no use because it can hardly burn. So, uh, you, uh, but uh, people they are so clever, they you make use of it to uh, because of the lubricating oil is very viscous. Okay, as said before, the higher the high, uh, boiling point fraction is more viscous. So I use it as a lubricating oil. So and wax. Okay, and bitumen, lab 10, for those who are much, much higher boiling point range, they will use it as, as this, you know, save the chemicals. So you may see the second one as a lubricating oil. Wax and bitumen. And uh, the most important item I would like to uh, bridge you uh, for another a lesson is on point number three. So uh, we have got about 10% of it. It is used as a raw material for making daily petrochemical products. For example, for making detergents, for making solvents, for making plastic, or even if you want to make it some fabrics, you may also use this. For example, polyester. Now your school uniform, somebody would buy it as a polyester. Okay? Do you know what's that? The color, have you ever heard of that? So it is a Frabex, made up of um, uh, uh, the raw materials of uh, crude oil, of uh, fractional distillation, the fractions in of the fractional distillation of crude oil. Um, for example, nylon, laylon. It is also a type of frappex that you used in the uh, raw materials is from crude oil. Okay, so as a raw materials for making daily products. Can you get a point? So this is what that end stage, they are uh, this part of crude oil. Shall we have a uh, summary on that? First of all, we have got a, uh, we just mentioned the uh, fraction distillation of crude oil uh, that can be carried out in the school lab or that can be carried out industrially. The principle is to separate the hydrocarbons according to the different fractions according to different boiling points. The lower boiling point uh, range substance normally they are a smaller size. So they would uh, rise up Okay, uh, while the one which have high boiling point, they will stay as liquid, then go in the bottom. And make, making use of the property, they are different. We use, uh, use it differently. For example, smaller hydrocarbon LPG for domestic fuel, okay, because it will burn as a cleaner fuel, blue flame, uh, instead of yellow flame, instead of sooty flame. While we have got a fuel for taxi, media buses, uh, motor cars, and Neffler for uh, raw materials for making town gas, plastic, and other uh, chemicals. The larger the size of the tr public transport, the public vehicles, so you may find that they will have uh, different types of fractions to be used. For those who are hardly burned, you use a lubricating oil, waxes, and bitumen. Okay, is that clear? So, uh, 
we try to take a look on that uh, worksheets. Okay, have you all done with it? Now, please take it out. This one. So I would like to. Uh, Now remind you the following. Uh, first of all, uh, this is what you know in in our in our in today's lesson. Number two, a diagram below shows the separation of three fractions of real x y z from the fraction in tower. Which of following statements about x y z are correct? Now, for those who know the answer, you may type it on the chat box. Number two, the diagram below this one, okay? X on top Z and bottom. Molecules in Y, they are larger than those in X. Y is easier to burn than Z. Z, Z is a lightest color. A, yes, that's right. A is correct. Okay. So which means that if you, un if you want to understand this part, you should know the following. One, uh, you should know the table. Okay. The answer is A. You should know the table. The table, you find it here. Okay. You are going to uh, have a fractional distillation of crude oil into fractions. Okay. We have got the table. Boiling point from lowest to highest. The color it is from what? The lightest to darkest. The uh, and uh, the viscosity. Do you do you still remember? Lim kito. Lowest to highest. So remember, okay. Lubricating oil is, is somewhere here. Volatility. Wax bitumen is here, so volatility is what is the most difficult one you may find it here. Well, for the, this one, it is easy to be volatile, okay? Easiest, okay? Flammability, this one can be burned so easily, it's highest. Well, for this one, it can hardly burn, it's lowest. Do you still remember that? Okay, the amount of black smoke when burned, which is the least. It normally is blue flame. While for this one is orange flame with yellow flame or with sooty flame. Sooty flame. So it is the most or uh, black smoke that can be burned. Okay, is that clear? So this is what I would like to share with you about this one. Which of foreign fractions of crude can be used as a fuel for taxis and public like buses? What is the answer? A. Yeah, it's A again. A again. In the past, it's diesel oil. So why would have a change in the past from the government? Because the government think that this one it is highly polluting. Do you know it? Is polluting the air, so they want they they uh, they would like to do some environmental protection by asking all the uh, those public transport to change the view. So of course somebody may think that how about the technical issues? They try to solve it one by one. Okay, so that's why uh, the taxi they have their own LPG station to pump in the LPG, but not the normal oil station. Okay, the is for private car is different. So which means that if you understand this, which means you are going to memorize the name of this. Can you get a point? You are going to memorize the name of this. Okay. And you know the, the area of study. Okay. Now tell me the level of understanding. Now. Now, this is the end of today's lesson. Now, before you leave, now could you please type the number eight? 
and say goodbye to me. Okay, bye bye. Now, once you, you type the number, you may now leave. Bye bye. Yep, nice. All right, it's time to leave. Okay, you may have having the lesson, last lesson. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, freebie.